Designing an API using OpenAPI specification. In this video, I'm going to take you through a series of steps that you can take to design an API using the most popular specification for API, namely OpenAPI specification. In case you are wondering about what is OpenAPI specification and you are not aware of it, I strongly recommend you to learn about this small technology that, that can be used to design an API and create in, in an industry standard format. So open API specification is an industry standard to define API endpoints. Using it, you can generate the code, generate documentations, test cases, and so on. The scope of this video is not to explain you about open API specification, but rather use ChatGPT to design an API. In case you do not know about open API specification, still okay, you can check out this video and see how you can leverage ChatGPT to design an API. That is a focus. As always, the context of our the current module is to create an open API specification for a simple weather app, namely Breezy Weather, that is going to give me the weather details of a single city. I'm going to start from the scratch and take you through each of the steps required to create the specification document using ChatGPT. As always, be cautious about the data. So I'm going to consider a fictional app. You can do the same. When it comes to API, it is very crucial for a company. So do not leak any information. You use ChatGPT to brainstorm and arrive at any details, but just use a fictional name and fictional details. Once you copy it to your local document, then you can easily find and replace. That's the best approach when working with ChatGPT. Let me start with the first prompt. Can you give me on say open API? If you want to know about the open API, you can of course use ChatGPT. Overview of open API. Let's see, open API formerly known as Swagger. Okay, that's one and the same. Swagger specification or open API specification is one and the same. It's a specification for building APIs that allows developers to describe the functionalities, operations, and parameters. It's language agnostic. You can use JSON or YAML. I typically use YAML. Using open API, developers can easily share their specification with other teams. You can create server stubs, documentations, and so on. So this is just a high level overview. You can use same ChatGPT to learn more on this. Okay, next, there is a tool namely from Swagger called editor.swagger.io. This is another famous online tool where you can use it to view the documentation generated by the open API specification. So if you go to this URL, this is a default one that you see here. Let me close and launch again. Editor.swagger.io. It is going to give you a sample application. In this case, it's considering Swagger Pet Store as the sample application. What you see in the left side is the specification. Do not worry about the details. It, it has given, it has taken one complex example and given all, covered all the points within the specification. That's why you see it's pretty long. It's okay. The point here is in the left side is the specification, right side is what we call it as Swagger UI. It is going to represent this specification in a nice UI format. So we are going to use the same Swagger editor to view our specification later on. So for now, I'm going to delete everything. Okay, let's get back to ChatGPT. Let's start with our main prompt. I want to create an open API specification for a weather app named breezy weather here i'm purposely keeping at at the high level so that i want to see what is the skeleton code that it gives me in the initial stage i have not included the details about what kind of api endpoints i need what is the authentication needed what are the details for each of those weather details i have not included anything very high level create a specification for weather app Okay, it has given me a very nice starting point. You see, it has generated the specification, open API specification for our current context. This, here we have the version. We have informations about the metadata, the API name and the description, what is the service, 
of course don't worry about these segments if you don't understand still okay but here the point is how you can use chat gpt for creating the specifications even if you don't know it's okay it's a very good knowledge to know how to leverage this tool and then this is considered the endpoints for the get it is considering as this is the summary what are the parameters it needs to include what are the responses similarly for security it is considering api key to begin with it's perfect so it has given me a great starting point let's see what happens if i copy and then go here paste it out there you go so you have the ready made api specification for a simple use case you see how nicely the swagger ui displays the information of the specification so once you have the specification then you can check into your source control do versioning and so on but that's outside of the scope of this video let's focus so here we have the simple api created by it servers authentication we have one api endpoint designed get slash weather is a url nice title if you expand you have we need to pass the location as the parameter okay you have the responses you see it has given me the schema as well a sample schema and the expected outputs 200 400 401 500 so all these are the bare bare minimum error codes that you need to consider that's great so with this we can get started and then keep refining it once i have this the next step or the next refinement i'm going to do is to add tags i see that here i have default so the default is the default tag that is considering because we have not mentioned any tags tags is like an easier way to group your apis let me go back to gpt and say how to add tag weather to them if i if i going to uh, enter this then it's going to regenerate me the entire specification you see here i have got about 50 lines of code then if i if i am going to prompt this then it's going to add this tag maybe it hardly takes two lines to add this but then it's going to generate me the entire specification again i don't want to do it it's it's a waste of tokens and your time as well how to add tag whether to them i'm going to tell it show only relevant code do not repeat entire code again So in this case, it's going to give me only those snippet that is more relevant for adding the tag. Let's see what it is doing in this case. To add the tag weather to the endpoint, you can modify the get operation as follows. Okay, it has skipped all the other parts. It has focused only a get endpoint. So this is the way to add the tags. Tags followed by weather. But then these are again duplicates it is still okay it have been better if you had avoided this as well but but still okay so you just need to add the tag in this way go back if you are not sure where to add so it has added after summary although it doesn't matter so let me stick to what it says remember that yaml is very very sensitive to spacing so just ensure your indentation is proper now you see we have added the weather tag you, you can see it's nicely grouped by the tag weather that's good let's say i want to add more details to the tag how can i do so how can i add more details for the weather tag like description and urls because i did not find any way to add more information so let me prompt the same to add more details to the weather tag you can define in the tag section yes that's what i was looking for so you can define the tag sections and give more details about any tag that you have included in your specification so in this case we have got weather as a name here i can include the descriptions and more documentations let me grab this is just another high level element okay, just go ahead and paste it now you can see more details here weather endpoints for retrieving weather information it is giving me the url for the weather tag as well if you feel it is longer you can just tweak it okay you can see more details if you click then it's going to take us to this url that's nice so slowly slowly i'm expanding it 
now having done about the initial design and then added the tag information definitely this is not perfect because this is only the starting point i want to refine it further to include the api endpoints the actual api endpoints that i need so i need basically endpoints to retrieve the details and add a new weather we have seen that it should be based on industry standard is to use get and post for any add for any update it is going to be on put so far if we come back here it has given me the get so let me prompt it to give me for post add post operation for the above weather item do not repeat the entire code what i'm expecting is just like the way it has generated me the get i want to generate the same for the post here's an example of how you could add a post operation but unfortunately it is repeating the get okay i expected only the post okay so this is what we are interested in post let me wait few seconds for it to finish you see how much time it's going to save you so it is giving you the exact details along with the responses the parameters for each it has defined me the schema type descriptions that's awesome let me grab only the post section get back to our specification being yaml the spacing is extremely important looks like we have made some mistake with the spacing okay this should be indented further okay now perfect now you see we have one more endpoint namely post weather submit weather information for a location we have the example schema example values and the recommended error codes 201 400 401 and 500 again perfect so it has given me excellent starting point for the post operation as well So similarly if you want to expose more details and more resources you can keep adding it the trick here is to include the keywords do not repeat otherwise it's going to generate the doc entire documentation again uh, yeah i agree that here it has repeated for the get but then you can make it even more explicit like do not repeat the entire code and do not include the details for the other verbs except the one which you am requesting so like that you can keep tweaking yeah and then finally i want to include uh, let's say basic authentication now if we go back to the specification it has included api key based authentication i want it to uh, prompt me what are the changes needed to support basic authentication what changes are needed to support basic authentication give me only those details i hope it doesn't regenerate everything again okay that's good to support basic authentication you can add a security definition to your specification okay so here it has given me the exact code snippets that i need to update that so that the specification is updated to support the basic authentication so like this you can use chat gpt to brainstorm the design for your api and then create the specification as such using the same you can keep adding and keep fine tuning the details until you hit the point where it is very good and you can start taking it as the starting point your specification i hope this has helped you in giving you an overview of using this tool and in case you do not know about the specification do not worry it's a great one it's it's pretty easy to understand so learn it and start applying at your work